Hey friends, what's up? Randy back with another episode of Randy Run. Uh, this one's going to be on truth. I've got a lot of cool little small things that I'm going to talk about. And so this is going to be pretty simple. So flags on the flag stand, you, uh, you're you pushing into the base, you get kills. And the question is, like, how do you run the flag? What do you do about it? And uh, what are the like simple nuances that you have to figure out? Alright, and so normally the run that I see people make is they grab the flag and then go into the pink addict and get out. Like, this is, this is their run, right? Um, I'm just going to say that, in my opinion, that's not how you should run the flag. Of course, this is an opinion piece. This isn't a fact. This isn't how you should always run the flag. Um, but there's like, and this is the standard. Like, you, you know, it's not four dead, easiest run of your life where you can just like, the fastest run that you could do is just running it out pink, right? If they're four dead, you're not afraid of being shot or anything. You just go like this. Uh, this is like pushing into the flag. One's coming off respawn. Like most situations in the game where you're gonna run the flag, uh, like that isn't a weird coincidence. Is they're they're spawning bubble. You've got to get the flag out. And the biggest mistake that I see, and I think I'm gonna have to let this flag recover, is the person spawns in bubble and shoots. And the flag just goes from flag and thrust into the spot that I was talking about and then jumps into P attic. The bad part about this is that if you do that the entire time, this guy car bubble can see you and shoot you. So easy shots over there. That's if you thrust again. Uh, you grab the flag, you thrust towards pink attic, you jump in there. Uh, most of the time, if it's if it's a close battle, you're gonna go down. Uh, if you have a if you have the lead, a jump, you're gonna get into pink attic and you'll be fine. But here's what I recommend. Instead of grabbing the flag going straight into pink attic, you grab it and you thrust to window. And then from window, you then jump into the P attic on this side. Because if you jump on the right side, uh, they can shoot you a lot longer. But if you jump on the left side and fall down, then you can start running the flag. That's the biggest nuance that you have to figure out how to implement into your game. Uh, that'll help out a lot of these flag runs. I mean, even if you weren't going to die, you're going to take less damage, which means that you're going to have to take less time to like make a run like this. So now, last thing uh, before getting into the base is this pink one spot. So you're, you're going to have the flag here. I recommend waiting for shields because if you get shot right here, you're going to die if you don't get your shields back. So uh, my opinion is you throw the flag out like this, and then when you're running it, you don't want to thrust. And this is something, again, an opinion piece that I am not like 100% sure about. But in my opinion, if you get to the flag, the only reason that you want to thrust is if you got shot. So if, you, if you're not getting shot yet, you want to get the flag to your pink tour. Like, you just you run it, you throw it, and then you thrust and grab it. Wow, I missed it. <laughs> Focus on talking. But yeah, easy like easy stuff. Um, and this is, this is my general rule of thumb. Again, you throw it, you jump thrust, grab it, and keep pushing it in. If you have to wait for your thrust back pink one, like you don't want to just ma make this run without a thrust because there's so many times that you die. So if you're pink one and you have to wait for your thrust, that's just another second that you have to wait because you wanted to be faster for no reason, quotation marks. So again, I think those are the two biggest nuances of the flag run pink side that are just like simply simple to implement into your game. Again, grab the flag, thrust out window. Jump into the P attic on the left side. Throw the flag. Do not thrust if you don't get shot. Because then you'll be able to do a slide thrust. And jump right into your pink addict. And then it's an easy cap from there. Easy cap. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, if you guys like this, let me know. And I'll continue trying to do more of it. There's only three... Three, three flag maps that I can do. Uh, so I'll try and figure out some other stuff as well. Just let me know. Comments, tweets, whatever. Uh, Twitch chat, anything, guys. Let me know. See you guys later.